Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of XML file in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG projects, we create an XML file. We can name it anything. We can name even TestNG.XML file also, or we can give any other name. But what is the use of it? For configuration purpose, okay? The main uh, line or at high level, if I have to say, the use of XML file is for configuration purpose, okay? TestNG XML file is nothing but a configuration file using which we can configure many things in the TestNG projects. Like the first one, we can configure the batch execution, look, okay? So if you go to this one of this project and one of the TestNG.XML file in this project, you can see, so for batch execution, like, which test need to be executed and in which, uh, you know, so we have to mention all the classes and all those stuff. Okay. So that they will run together. Okay. Not only the test related to the register test will run, but also the test related to the login test, test related to the search test class. Okay. The test from all these classes will run as a batch. Okay. So if I remove one of this class here, only the test from this register test and search test will run like that. Okay. So for batch execution, we can do that, okay? So parallel execution. We can enable the parallel execution. You see, just uh, use these attributes here. Parallel is equal to test, the rate count is equal to how many tests you want to run in parallel, at a time, how many tests you want to run, okay? For that, but to configure that also, we use XML file in testNG, order of execution. So here, as per this testNG XML file, first, the test from the register test will run, then the test from log, login test will run, then the test from search test will run, okay? So the order in which you specify them, the same order in which they will be executed. Parameterization. Here I have not specified any parameterization, but uh, you can parameterize, okay? For example, here you can add parameter. Uh, let's say uh, name is equal to URL value is equal to some HTTP colon double slash www.xyz.com uh, just for uh, sample purpose I'm writing this, right? Just close it, that's it. So now this parameter we can pass, okay? Into the, any of the test methods, okay? Inside these classes. So if you use this URL in any of the test methods inside these classes, this value will be, okay? If you use this URL as a parameter, it will retrieve the value, this, this particular URL, okay? To parameterize the test also, we can use this XML file. For listeners, okay? So to activate the listeners, you see here, I mentioned the listeners here and uh, this my listeners, the location of the listeners class. And uh, so based on the tests that are getting executed, they will fire some events based on that events fired, uh, appropriate methods, listener methods inside this my listeners will be invoked when you specify this listeners, okay? Or listeners path in the XML file. Then running specific groups or tests, okay? If you want to run specific groups or tests, okay? So you can do that can say groups, otherwise here I write down. Uh, at any level you can write groups, okay? Then uh, run, then you can say include, include or exclude you can say, okay? Include uh, name of the group, okay? Smoke group, only the test, from smoke group will run in this case. You can also write exclude means apart from smoke group, any other group, uh, any other test can run, okay? Except the test from the smoke group, everything will run, okay? So for uh, this also we use, for configuring that uh, running of specific groups or excluding the specific groups from running, we can use including even tests also, okay? So we can also include or exclude the tests, okay? We can also, include or exclude the test. For example, instead of writing like this, uh, we can write uh, class slash class. Okay, then here we have to write methods, slash methods. And inside this methods, we have to write include name, name of the test. The register test uh, register with uh, valid credentials, uh, register with all details, register with all details. Okay, like this one test, uh, test method is there. So from this class, the, uh, in this register test, there are multiple classes. And in that only register with uh, 
verify register with uh, all by providing all fields okay or whatever it is okay and i did, gave it in wrong name but uh, you know you have to give a proper name here only that particular test method will run from this register test okay and if i say exclude means apart from excluding exclude means apart from this test method remaining all test methods in this class will run okay like that we can include or exclude so this is what will happen so what i'll do here is i'll just remove this uh, method thing and then self close here so that all the test methods from this will run okay so like that many things are there okay these are the high level things i covered there are many other advantages of uh, this configuration file that is configuration test ng xml file in test ng projects but these are the main ones so that's all for this session thank you bye bye